those some dangling legs. All right, this is the Canadian grabber monkey. It grabs onto your heads and it has a vicious bite. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab it and lift it off very, very slowly. And you're gonna wanna back up slowly in a defensive position, ready to attack if need be. Because these monkeys are vicious and can kill. And once you're far enough away, make a run for it. Hello everyone, my name is Randy Irwin and welcome to Animal Planet. Right there you just saw me run away from the legendary Canadian head grabber monkey. They're very dangerous. So, this is how I'm going to teach you to deal with the Canadian head grabber monkeys. Starting, whenever you're walking through the bush, they have a tendency to grab onto something like a hat. What? Crikey! A croc! I need everybody to stop right there. Look, that is the legendary Countside Canadian boar. Look at the strut. It's known to carry mega chad energy and has a bite strength of over 40 million pounds. This creature can survive underwater for 46 days. 46. Yes, that's right. That's a month and around 16 days. What you see here is a legendary genetic creation. Crikey! Look! It's a croc! Come on! Come on! We gotta get it! Alright. So, right now I think we've just found an abandoned monkey camp. Look at this. It obviously hasn't been used in millennia. Look at the craftsmanship. You can tell this was from decades ago. Oh, do you see that? Do you see that, guys? Look at that. That's a wild Canadian ape. Normally they're so vicious and dangerous. But this one is very quiet and calm. This is what it's like when it's asleep. It's so gentle. This is the side of nature that I want you guys to see. Not everything out here is so vicious. Not everything out here is mean. There's life like this. Oh, never mind! Look at that croc, it stole my hat! So we followed the lions this far. Look at them, those majestic beasts. This must be Pride Wall, where they slumber. Let's see here. But these lions are also 600 pounds. Can you imagine? 600 pounds of lion and muscle, right on that wall. Nature's incredible. All right, let's move. Rest easy, young one. Those lions from earlier, they're very close by. I've got myself my GoPro out and ready to record, just in case I happen to see them. Look at the bark. Look at the bark on this. This right here is an Italian maple. This is what I've been doing for a living my entire life. Right in there, there's probably a few beavers. Yeah, beavers. What was... Are you pulling my leg? This isn't time for pranks, Ned. All right, whatever you say. Wait. The wildlife here is incredible. So incredibly dangerous, yet so beautiful at the same time. Look, another relaxing lion. This lion handcrafted himself a hammock. Look at that expert craftsmanship. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. 
you. We don't want to wake him. Nature's gorgeous. Do you hear that? Do you hear it? Look, up there. This lion is scavenging through leaves. He's trying to find some prey. Normally, you can find shrew or even mice under leaves. So watch your step. You don't want to hurt one of them. Oh, he's hurt us. He's running. Look at that. They've adapted to climb trees. That way, they can even get things like squirrels and chipmunks. He's glaring. He wants me out. He doesn't want me here. Whoa, did you hear that roar? What? What, that? What? It's a croc! Let's go! There it goes. There goes the croc. Oh. Wait. She's woken up the lion. Wait. You don't have to do it. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right. All right. A tip for lions. If you ever get close enough, give them a good old bonk. Boom. There. Now you have my respect. Now I've established myself as the alpha. Now you. I'm going to need that hat back. Come on. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Hand it over. Come with me. I'll show you the way. Wait. Whoa. She is. Yes. I got you! I got you! Thanks for watching, guys! I will see you next time on <laughs> Randy Ewing, the crocodile hunter! Hi, my name is Gabby, and my camp name is Frisco. I got my camp name because during my LIT year on Zoom, at the end of pretty much every single Zoom call, I did a little interpretive dance, and Joe Frisco was a famous dancer, so Frisco is his last name, and that's my camp name. I would say my favorite elective is either boating or sailing. I have been coming to camp as a camper for seven years, and this is my first year on staff. My favorite piece of tuck is probably either Sour Skittles or Lemonade. My favorite spot of camp is right here at the gazebo. I love being able to sit here and look out at the pretty water and see the island, and it's a really peaceful and quiet spot for me to sit and relax or read. Welcome campers to our online summer fun here at Quasin. We, today we have blindfolded drawing for you. And we have our contestants. We have Spin, <laughs> Glow, and Yak. Woo! So our contestants here are gonna be blindfolded and they're gonna draw for you guys the Quasin logo. But they won't be able to see what they're drawing. So let's see how it goes. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Get set, <laughs> go! your results. All right, let's have some judging. Can we take our blindfolds off, please? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Ooh. Okay, this is actually very All impressive. of our contestants have been able to get it within the circle, it seems, which is really great. I even wrote Camp Quasim. Wow, Ooh. Spin even has Camp Quasim. 
Now, my highest vote goes to Spin for even spelling out Camp Closet. But you guys vote on at home and let us know in the comments to see who won. Is it Yak, Glow, or Spin? Tune in next time to hear Yak say, Ah! <laughs>